Hello and welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Annie. I'm a crochet pattern designer and I love talking about all things crochet and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. This is a slightly different video style for me and I actually was very inspired by Dana from Blondie Knots. She has this series on her channel here on YouTube where basically she just crochets and chats and it's kind of like a little like FaceTime-y vibe and I just love that so much. So I thought it would be really fun today if we kind of just did the same thing and all the credit to her. Her. I'm gonna have her linked in the description and if you haven't checked her out before make sure you do because she's the one that gave me this idea and I just love her channel so much so that's the plan I want to show you what I'm gonna be working on while we're chatting today I actually am making something that is not a plushie which might be hard to believe I'm making a wearable like I mentioned I've been very inspired by Dana recently and she does a little bit of everything and it just has me wanting to work on a little crochet garment because it's been so long I want to say it's been about eight months since I've done any crochet crochet garments or anything like that. So that's what we're doing today and I'm making my most favorite crochet project to wear or my favorite wearable and this is a pattern from Evelyn and Peter. It's called the Poppy Cardigan and I just love it so much. You've probably seen me wear it in quite a few of my videos because it's just so comfortable and it's like my favorite thing to just throw on. I swear it's like the greatest thing ever. I think everyone needs one of these in their wardrobe because it's just that nice. It's so good. And I'm also using my little crochet pillow today while we chat because I need all the wrist support that I can get lately. I don't know what's been going on with my wrist, but I've been trying to just give it the time that it needs and it has not been very happy with me. Thankfully today it is feeling good enough to crochet with you and chat with you. So I'm very grateful for that. But the pillow does definitely help. So that's why I'm using this today. I feel like there's like a dog hair on my face. My nose is so itchy. It's probably just allergies. I'm a mess. I'm dropping my hooks and everything. I'm actually gonna buckle this pillow on so that way it like holds its shape. There we go. Okay, so I think my plan today is just to catch up with you a little bit. And I actually asked you guys to ask me some questions over on Instagram and on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and look through some of those too and answer your questions. And I think that's just kind of gonna be the plan. We're just gonna see how it goes and where we get, but I'm feeling chatty today. Hopefully I don't get too rambly, but I'm just really looking forward to this. I'm having fun working on my wearable and I just think it's gonna be a good time. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy yourself. Make sure you have your crochet project and your snack or your drink and we're just gonna hang out. Today I'm drinking a lime spindrift, which is one of my favorite things. It's so good. I love spindrift so much. I will say though, it's kind of expensive. So normally I just drink LaCroix because honestly it tastes like the same thing. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be itching my nose this entire video. I don't know what's going on. Um, but what do I have to catch you up on? Oh, the other day I went to world market and I have to show you what I got. It's actually sitting next to me. You can probably see it, but basically this all started because I saw this reel on Instagram of this girl with this tomato pillow and it just like spoke to me. I was like, that is exactly what I need on my craft room couch. If you don't know, we're sitting in my craft room right now and I just wanted something like a little bit weird, a little bit cute. Like it just felt like the vibe in here and I was like, that's, that's the one, like this is what I need. And so I went and bought it. And here it is and I have to show it to you because it is so cute and it's so soft and I just love to hold this like when I'm just sitting here brainstorming my next crochet pattern I just will sit here like this it's so soft and I love it so much oh my nose oh my goodness okay hopefully my nose is not like bright red it's so itchy right now so I'm very excited to have this little tomato on my craft room couch if you don't know we refer to this couch as Evie's couch because Usually she does not even let me sit on it like she owns this couch But today she's being very nice and she's actually laying right next to me. She's asleep on the floor today So she's letting me have my moment and I very much appreciate that I really need to get one of those spinny little yarn holder things so that way I don't have to keep manually during this throughout the entire video, but we're just gonna make do, okay? So I'm very sorry if that's a little bit annoying, but that's what we're doing. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to update you on before we get into the questions. Let's see, what is going on in Hooks and Healers world right now? Oh, oh, 
Okay, so we are currently doing the pattern test for Leo the Lobster, which is going very well. And I cannot believe how fast the testers are. I want to say like half of them are already done and it has been like two days or something like that. So they're amazing. That pattern is going to be coming very soon. My plan is to have it out by August 1st, but who knows? I might just release it earlier because I'm impulsive and impatient and I get too excited about things. So we'll have to stay tuned for that but i'm very excited about him if you want to see what he looks like i'll pop him up on the screen right here but he also comes with a little party hat because my birthday is in august and i just think it's fun and it looks cute because his little antennas stick out of the party hat i don't really know i also have a couple friends that have birthdays in august along with my husband we're all leos so we love that i honestly don't really know that much about astrology all i know is that we're leos so just ignore me ignore me um so that's going on and then I'm also working on another free pattern which I'm hoping is going to be coming out very soon. I'm excited to see what you think about it. My friends over on Patreon seem to like it but I asked them to give me some feedback and I need to implement some of the things that they said because that's what I love about my friends on Patreon is they're so honest with me and they will tell me if something looks off about a pattern so I am going to listen to them. I need to make some tweaks before I get that out. That's the plan. I'm sure that will be coming out out soon so i think those are like the main updates i had to share except for okay one other update one other very important update is that we hit thirty thousand subscribers here on the channel a few days ago and so i just have to take a moment to say thank you thank you to you watching this to everyone watching this it really means so much to me and i just cannot believe that that's where we are like seriously it yeah i literally could get choked up talking about it right now so i'm gonna stop talking about it but it it really means a lot to me to put it very lightly. So thank you for being here and yeah, it's it's crazy. I'm just so grateful and I just love feeling like I have 30,000 friends who like to crochet. Like what a dream come true. Before I had this YouTube channel, I didn't have a single friend that liked to crochet. So it means a lot to me and I just wanna say thank you. And what was, I was gonna say something else. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now. Okay. So the other thing I was going to say is that I think at the end of August, that's going to mark our one year of hooks and healers on YouTube, which is wild. It has not even been a year yet. And we've already reached that milestone. And I'm just baffled. I'm blown away. My goal was maybe to have 10,000 subscribers within the first year of my YouTube channel. So the fact that we are here at 30,000 with over two months to go, I, I just really appreciate it. And I want this to be a sign to you that if you're a crocheter and you've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel, let me be the proof that if I did this, you can do this, okay? So take this as your sign to start your YouTube channel if you want to and let me know when you do and I will go subscribe, okay? Sounds good. Okay, so I think now that we have the housekeeping out of the way, we can go ahead and get into some of the questions. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I asked you questions over on Instagram and here on YouTube. So I don't know where I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna see what you guys asked and we're just gonna go ahead and start moving along. Okay, I'm looking through some of our questions right now and I found a good one to start with, but hopefully my AC isn't too loud. It's so hot outside, so I have to have it on. But if you do hear a noise in the background, that is what that is. So our first question is, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel and pattern designing? Which I really love this question because honestly, I feel like my whole story of getting started is so all over the place. Like I feel like I hear most people talk about it and they're like, oh yeah, like I did this and then whatever. Um, mine, I feel like has taken years of like trial and error almost, or like I would start for like a month and then I would like delete everything and whatever. And so basically that's what happened is I started posting on Instagram, I think during the pandemic. And I'm pretty sure during that time I shared a couple of things and then I stopped posting and kind of like so on and so forth. I think I did that one more time in 2022 and ultimately in 2023 is when it stuck. And I wanna say it was May of 2023 that I really started posting consistently and have been since that point. And I think the reason why I started posting consistently at that time is I was actually really struggling with my mental health. I've always really struggled with anxiety pretty much as long as I can remember. And at the time I was sort of just looking for something to like help me have some sort of outlet and just to like keep me busy and preoccupied with something I guess and ultimately I just told my 
myself, hey, why don't I try designing crochet patterns? At the time, I had a lot of ideas in my head, and that's exactly what I did. And honestly, I can say with full confidence, it's like one of the best decisions that I have made. So that was in May 2023, and then I started my YouTube channel in August of 2023 because I just figured if I was going to do this, like I'm the type of person where if I'm going to do something, I'm going to go all in on it, If I, at least if I really enjoy it. So after a few months of really enjoying all the crocheting I was doing over on Instagram, I was just feeling very inspired to start my YouTube channel. And at the time, if you go back and look at some of my earliest YouTube videos, I was just trying to figure out like what. I enjoyed making and so a lot of those videos I was doing tutorials another video that I used to make a lot was like a tier ranking style video and I've honestly been thinking of doing that again recently I think it would be really fun to kind of bring that back because I've had so much fun with it in the past but I would tier rank like random crochet things like crochet hooks and all of that and I don't know I was kind of all over the place but Ultimately, I think what inspired me to start doing all of this stuff here on YouTube, pattern designing and just all of it is I was really just looking for a way to connect with people that share the same hobby as me and have sort of like a community, I guess, because in my personal life, I don't have like a huge friend group or anything like that. So it's just been really good for me, I think, to be able to create so many friends through crochet and share what I love. And I know people say that social media is bad for your mental health, but I think that the crochet community actually is kind of an exception to that because it's so welcoming and supportive. And I've found that being able to have that connection and share that with so many other people has actually been one of the most like healing things for me and it's just been really cool because that's something I've always felt like I've kind of been lacking in my adult life so I think ultimately to put it shortly after rambling to you for way too long the thing that inspired me was creating connection really obviously there's the fact that I do love to crochet so that definitely helps too and I believe this person also asked a another question and it was um, what is your favorite yarn brand and where do you get it oh and what are your favorite patterns okay so my favorite yarn brand at the moment has to be Hobie I just find that they're the most consistent especially with chenille yarns you know I love my chenille yarns for amigurumi but unfortunately lately I think there's just been kind of like a supply issue with chenille yarn and so a lot of the really popular brands are kind of having a hard time keeping it like quality basically and I've just found that Hobie specifically Hobie Toucan has been the most consistent for me and I've just been really enjoying it so I've been mainly sticking with that but Hobie also has a bunch of really beautiful yarns for all different types of projects and I really like a lot of their yarns so I definitely recommend them and if I'm shopping in person I really love Joanne there is just not much that can beat the yarn wall honestly it just gets me every time it is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and Joanne just has such a nice yarn selection. I love their Big Twist Posh, obviously, and it seems like it's making a comeback. I'm really hoping that it does. I think if I had to pick like a store, I'm probably a Joanne's girl. It's hard to say though, because Michael's is right down the street from me. So I guess I kind of do both. But for crochet patterns that I love, it's hard to say because I think you know, if you've seen my vlogs, I try new crochet patterns probably like at least four of them a week. Like I go through crochet patterns like nobody's business, but one that sticks out to me and I just come back to every time is Crochet Grove's elephant pattern. I just think it was such a cool idea and it's seriously one of the cutest little amigurumi projects I've ever seen. So, and then for wearables, I have to give a shout out to Evelyn and Peter, the designer of what I'm working on right now. I love this pattern so much and every time I wear this design, I get so many compliments on it. It's so comfortable and it's just so cute. I don't even know what you'd really call this. I guess it's sort of like a short sleeve cardigan. I'm sure there's like a word for that that I don't know, but it's really cute. You've totally seen me wear it before if you've watched my channel, but hopefully I'll be sharing this one with you very soon. I would like to think that I will because I feel like we are making quite a bit of progress on this just in the time that I've been chatting with you. So I love that. Also, the stitch pattern of this design is so fun to work up, like it just flows so nicely and it's very easy to work on while I'm talking to you. So I love that. And it looks like we're getting into the purple stripe for this pattern, which is very fun. I love working with Karen Cotton Cakes, which is the yarn that I'm using, because the striping is just so pretty. And I don't know, 
just something about it it makes it so fun for me like my attention span is so bad but when i see the color start to change i feel like i'm really doing something so yeah i love it okay this is actually a funny question i've never answered before and it was how did you name your channel so i think for most of you you probably know like my story which is i have two cattle dogs and another term for a cattle dog is also like a blue healer or a red healer and so that's kind of where i got the idea to name it hooks and healers and i do like it it's probably not my favorite but i came up with it like so long ago that it's just kind of what i've always been known as so maybe in the future i could see myself changing it but that's kind of like the tea on that i guess i feel like naming your crochet account or your youtube account is honestly so hard because there are just so many crochet accounts so it's tricky i really don't know but for that reason i'll probably just stick with my name because i don't know i feel like it would just be such a headache to change it i could see myself just changing it to my name in the future maybe just depending but then i feel like that would offend bush and evie like i don't want to hurt their feelings you know because they are the healers of hooks and healers so yeah i'm definitely not like a good person to ask for like advice for creating instagram names because i don't even really know how i came up with mine i think i was just like that's the one so I'm random day like five years ago and then the second part to this question was where do i get inspiration for my crochet patterns which is a really good question um i feel like with amigurumi it's a little bit easier because i pretty much just design any weird little creature that comes into my head but one place i really like to get inspiration from is just like looking at um plushies in stores and stuff and seeing what type of plushies people like to buy like at target and stuff like that and it's kind of a fun place to get a starting point obviously i create my own thing but for example i think it was at target or something i saw a little lobster and then that gave me the idea like oh i should crochet a lobster or whatever and then i did and obviously they're like different but that was like the starting point and then it was kind of the same thing with my water bear pattern i actually saw a water bear on build a bear's website and it really doesn't look anything like the one that i created but it gave me the idea to create my own i guess and then over time as i've gotten more like skills in amigurumi it's been easier for me to kind of just like piece it together and decide how i would want it to look okay so next question is how long have you been crocheting for and how many markets have you gone to so i have been crocheting since 2018 and basically this all started because ryan my husband who was my boyfriend at the time went away to like basic military training basically in 2018 and i was so bored i was so sad if you don't know you can't really talk to people while they're in boot camp basically so you can send them letters and stuff and they can call every once in a while but basically i was just like so sad and so bored and at the time one of my friends worked at michael's and she told me she was like i think you would really like crocheting like you should totally try crocheting while he's away just for like a fun thing to do and honestly as soon as i heard her say that i went to michael's i got um red heart super saver and I got the cheapest crochet hook I could find and I remember that night I made this ginormous circle and it just got bigger and bigger and I had no idea what I was doing but after that moment I was literally obsessed and I remember writing to Ryan like while he's in boot camp being like I started crocheting I love it so much and he was like what is that like he didn't even know what it was and then as far as markets go in 2019 Ryan and I moved to Illinois and when we moved to Illinois I was working so much I think I was working like 50 hours a week and then i also was crocheting a ton and so i was just like i should do a market not anticipating how much time it would take or anything like that like how much work would go into it and how much inventory i needed so i signed up for like the biggest market in the area and i just remember being like so scared because i pretty much had like nothing ready i had nowhere near the amount of stuff i needed ready and at the time i was just making these like crochet pumpkins because those were really big in 2019 i feel like they still are but i was making those and i was totally underpricing them and they took me forever so i just had nowhere near enough stuff basically and then i ended up like canceling and that was like the only market experience i've had so i'm really hoping <laughs> that was evie that was not me for the record she's crazy she's like dreaming or something 
Um, but that was my only market experience that I had and I'm hoping very soon to be able to do another market. I've been kind of playing around with the idea in my head and I feel like it would just be a lot easier now because crochet is my job at this point, which is pretty crazy to say. Um, that and I also feel like I have such a better idea of like how markets work because of all my crochet friends and I think I know now like the amount of work that goes into it. So. I'm hoping to do one maybe this fall. I definitely need to start looking into it though because I know you have to like plan them out ahead of time. So yeah, we're just gonna have to see but maybe I will do a market very soon. I'm hoping to at least. I don't think I've mentioned this on the channel but Ryan and I don't plan on living in Southern California for the long term. It just doesn't really align with like our interests and what we like to do which is you know we like peace and quiet. We want to own a home and kind of just all of that stuff and so obviously that requires us to like pretty much leave California. At least that's our plan. So we don't know when, but we're planning on moving and I'm really excited to be able to share more with you guys, but hopefully soon we will not be living in California and I'll kind of just leave it at that because who knows, who really knows, you know? If you've ever bought a house, like you, you know how that goes. So let's move on to our next question, which is such a sweet question. Someone asked how I've been doing since making crochet my full-time job. And they also asked, do you have a set routine? What new projects have you been spending time on? How do you make sure you're not overexerting your body with all the extra hours of crocheting? And any advice to someone who's thinking about going full-time while crocheting? Which first of all, this is such a sweet question. Like, thank you for asking this because it really has been quite a big change for me. Um, and also such a valid question asking about like how my wrists and stuff are holding up now because because let me tell you, it has been a struggle. So as far as like my schedule goes, I feel like I've gotten it down pretty well. I'm still trying to upload two videos a week, but lately I've been working on a lot of projects behind the scenes that have made it a little bit more difficult for me to stick to that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, and I think I'll be able to keep that uploading schedule soon. So that's the goal at least. And then the main things that I focus on now that I'm full time are creating patterns at least once a month. I have a new PDF crochet pattern because my patrons over on Patreon get a free pattern every month and I have to make sure I keep that up for them. But also I have so many ideas of patterns that I wanna make. So that's been a huge focus for me is upping the amount of patterns that I'm releasing and also sharing free patterns. I think just in the past month alone, it's been like two or three different patterns that I've shared over on my website for free. So those are like two big focuses. And then obviously here on YouTube, I'm focusing on creating videos and hopefully being able to up the amount of them. And that's like my main kind of things that I'm focusing on right now because I know if I start thinking about too much, then I'm just gonna like, you know, spread myself too thin and that's not gonna be good for anybody. And I'm just really, really grateful that I'm in this position where I am able to do that. It really is just such a privilege. So I'm so grateful for every day that I do get to do this. But yeah, that's really what has been working for me right now and I'm really enjoying it. And one other thing that I'm hoping to start doing a little bit more in the future is doing more live streams because I'm not sure if any of you were able to be there. I did one on YouTube here uh, a few weeks ago, I think at this point and it was just so much fun. Like I had way too much fun doing that. So I'm really hoping to be able to do that more in the future and maybe like schedule them out so people know in advance when I'm going live. And then the other part to this question was do you have any advice for anyone who's thinking of going full-time with crocheting i think my advice to anyone who's wanting to go full-time with crocheting is really just to focus on doing what makes you happy because i think it really can get kind of overwhelming you know like when it is your full-time job you're thinking like oh my gosh like what am i gonna do like i need to do everything and i'm sure if you're a small business owner you can probably relate to this but sometimes it can just be really hard to take a break and not think about your business because it feels like every second that you're not working on your business is a second that you're wasting. Like, I don't know, maybe that was just me, but that's something I've really struggled with in the past. And ultimately that's just a really good way to end up getting burnt out. So as much as I do work on my business and all of that, I do intentionally take at least one day off of social media where I say no posting, no anything, and I just do whatever I want. A lot of times that looks like me just playing The Sims or hanging out with my husband or going on a hike or literally whatever I wanna do. But I do think that it is really important to 
prioritize that balance especially from the beginning because if you don't it can be really hard to maintain like a healthy balance in your life and I feel like it only gets harder as time goes on and things continue to grow so I do think that that is like the number one priority is having a good balance and prioritizing your physical and mental health because otherwise you know like the saying what do they say you can't pour from an empty cup I think is so true like you truly have to take time to recharge and you know just give yourself time to rest and you really can't be like creative and get everything you want done if you aren't giving yourself that grace and that time to just chill so i feel like that's like my best advice that i have for you but i definitely need to be better at taking my own advice too because sometimes i forget that as well and it can definitely be very tricky so i'm still going through some of your questions here on youtube and this person gave me a really good list of just like seven or eight different questions they'd like for me to answer so i figure i can go through some of these like kind of rapid fire okay so what are my favorite crochet patterns they have to be amigurumi because that's always what i come back to but i do really love crocheting a bit of everything the next question is what did you crochet when you first started learning and really it was just a giant circle i'm pretty sure that was the first thing that i ever made and then after that i want to say i started doing granny squares but i actually started with solid granny squares so those are the first two things that i made next they asked do i want to do a market the answer is yes i'm just not quite sure when i'm gonna do it maybe this fall maybe not we'll see they also asked if i want to start doing more garment patterns so if you don't know i do have one garment pattern it's called the wisteria cardigan it was the first like real pattern i ever designed and had tech edited and all of that and i still Still do love it and I had a lot of fun doing it it was a lot of work when you do make garments obviously there's a ton of different measurements and you know swatching and things like that that go into it so as time consuming as it was I still would love to do another one in the future I'm not quite sure when because obviously amigurumi has kind of become my like new favorite thing but I, I would like to in the future I think they also asked who I still do diamond painting art which I do pretty often in my videos if you don't know it's almost like painting by number but instead you use little gems and I personally love it it's seriously one of my favorite things to do when I'm looking to take a break from crochet and all of that I think it's just the most fun thing ever I just love how they turn out too the specific brand that I really like using is paint gem art because they're really small and in my opinion doing one of the small gem paintings is the best because it gives you the satisfaction of finishing it without it being like one of those massive ones that sits on your dining room table forever and then I answered a few of the other questions they shared but one other one is are you going to try to knit a sweater or do you just prefer knitting socks so I do love knitting socks but I would love to make a sweater I do have a ton of yarn behind me as you can see here that I am saving for a sweater I'm hoping as soon as the weather cools down a bit that I can try to knit my first sweater but I've honestly just been so busy I haven't had time to start it is something that I do want to do very soon though so I'm getting a lot of repeat questions here on YouTube so I'm popping back over to Instagram really quick and and seeing if I have any that I missed one question is who is your favorite pattern designer I have so many I think my all-time favorite is all from Jade I also love wonder crochet I love crochet by Jenna I love crochet me zaddy um, I'm probably missing a bunch but those are like a few that really come to mind immediately another question I don't think I've touched on is how did I grow my followers on Instagram I honestly feel like I'm not the girl to be giving this advice um, I know Jenna from crochet by Jenna has a couple videos about this this and she has a much larger following on Instagram than I do but really what has worked for me is I just share reels that I think are funny or are related to something I'm crocheting or just really any of that I'm by no means an expert but I do focus mainly on putting reels on Instagram I also try to use like trending audios and take video that's in higher quality and I don't know things like that things that I think my audience would like and I feel like I've done pretty well on Instagram just following that I try to not be like too rich Rigid with everything that I post there and I feel like for the most part it goes pretty well but let me know in the comments if you are curious to hear like a full video about that if you're interested in growing an Instagram following maybe that's something we can dive into in an entire video or anything or if there's any of the topics that I mentioned in this video that you would love to see like a full YouTube video on I'd be happy to share any tips or anything that's worked for me I am an open book and I'm always happy to share it because we don't gatekeep around here I'm all about uplifting other people and I want everyone to be successful so so with that being said I think those are like most of the questions that I've had so far if I get any more I will just answer them over on that questions tab but I just wanted to thank oh 
Evie. Evie girl is getting crazy. But I just wanted to thank you for hanging out with me and crocheting with me today. I feel like we made quite a good amount of progress on the back panel of my cardigan. So I'm very happy about that. And I really enjoyed just chatting with you. If you did like this style of video, let me know in the comments and maybe we can make this a more regular thing where we just chat and catch up and hang out. I think it'd be really fun. So let me know what you think. I definitely have a lot of other things to update you on. I feel like we just gotta catch up. So with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I really feel like I'm just sitting with a friend right now, so it's been so much fun. We will have to do it again very soon, so let me know what you think about that. But with all of that being said, I will see you in a video very soon. Bye!